Hello, uh, this is a movie about a fix that I created for Omnigonic Spinout. Uh, this is my favorite Sunstreaker that that came out from the Masterpiece scale. Uh, I think he's a really great looking figure, but as we all know, or, or you will know now, uh, he has a lot of technical issues that are the fault of the factory and not the designer. Not the designer. So uh, I created a fix for the most common problem, which is this part here. So as you can see, those two tabs should plug in here, like this, and this should lock the torso, but there is absolutely no way to plug him securely. So this is what, I, what you need to do. This will be a short tutorial on how to assemble him and on how I created this. So, uh, you have to remove those two panels. You can just hold like this and keep moving until they slide off. See, they, they are popping out. Uh, if you don't have the strength, you can use something like this and grab them here and just keep moving till they come off. Okay, so let me pause for a second and I will tell you how I created the part. So this is the old part and I have to make something that looks similar but fits this guy. So I made a photo of this and a thing that I am certain how it, it came comes out from the printer. So I can scale that photo in 3D space to fit this shape and I can model something like uh, so use that uses those dimensions so I model a shape uh, you can probably see that shape here in 3D so it's modeled in Maya uh, software that I use every day but it's mostly used for animation movies and stuff like this but it's my tool of choice so I model that uh, I export it to an STL file and then I import it to a pretty program as you can see it creates supports that I will tell you about later and then the file is printed so I have a short movie about so I have a short movie that shows how it's being printed then you have to remove the print from the table and you get something like this. So this took 40 minutes to print. So you just have to remove it like this. This part is not necessary <laughs> for the assembly. It will come already removed, but I think that it's interesting to show how you can make your own parts. So this stuff has come out already. So this is one of the parts. I will clean the second one. Like I t told you, this will be already done, but this is to show you the process. So the both parts are, are already done, and now you have to put them on. So the best way that I uh, found to do it is to hold him like this, and with this thumb, you hold this pin so it does not move, and then you put this thing here and push with this one so like this so you, uh, the only movement you are doing is moving like this and the finger is pushing it forward so and it just slides in this is very tight so that the figure does not move uh, I mean <laughs> so figure figure moves but it it has this secure uh, tab. So the same with this part, you just have to move it like this and I am pushing, oh, sorry, and I am pushing this with the thumb. Sometimes this part may be in the way, so and I am pushing with the thumb and moving like this and it slides. So now both of them are here and as you can see there is the, the part that you need to clip in. I will adjust the camera slightly.
So right now, well, maybe I will do this like this. How I did it was I was printing the parts, uh, attaching them, seeing how it moves and when it disconnects. And each time I came up with the block, I added this. So that's why the shape is like this, and it's very very secure. I have a, I I have a good eyesight, so I'm very good with measuring with my eyes. So I just look at things and I recreate them in 3D space, basically. So how you how do you do this? You have to hook those parts. As you can see, there are two posts here, and you have to hook them like this here and this here. As you can see, they are like this, and you just push them in like this and already they're very very secure so make sure that that they are not sliding up or down so I will push this one up a bit like this okay okay so now uh, the back panel is secure, so the head will sit, will not fall down, as you can see there's a block here and I made the parts here that are that give some detail, so right now as you can see the part is holding very very steadily and it's even hard to take it out, so you can move the figure any way you want and it will no, not come off, the way to remove it is just hold it like this and move it in this di direction but and again uh, because they are moving separately it may be hard for you at first to align them but you can help yourself with the finger below but the best way w is to hold them by your two thumbs here and just grab one side then grab the other and push till they click in and then like I said, it's a very secure fit that you can move everything with with not no fear of disconnecting. So, and it also works in uh, car mode. I won't transform him because it, it will take some time, but uh, I will show you the pictures. So, it's a bit different. If you want, you can paint this one silver. I found find this black color very nice, so I will keep it like this and. I'm seeing uh, some tabs disconnected here, so I will fix them. And uh, right now, the position of those, the, the this panel here, you can move it uh, up or down. So I prefer to move it slightly up, like this, so that the head is not sitting so low, and move this part here slightly forward, so so that this is more like this. It, it gives him a little gap, but still I think it looks very good from the front. You can of course push it like this, it still holds with no problem, so... Uh, and now for the end part, I will pose him and show him off. So here is Spinhouse next to an anime blue streak that I'm working on. So uh, I really hope that you will find this part useful and that you will give some thought to this version of Sunstreaker because I think this is the best one out there aesthetic, aesthetically uh, I am not a fan of fake parts so I, I think that this one is really looking great and maybe this part will let you consider this version so uh, I am not earning any money on this I will, I will charge only for the shipping cost which will be like $7 uh, if you want to tip me, uh, of, of course that is welcome, but it's not necessary. So I will give you some de details below, but uh, uh, just know that uh, this part uh, takes 40 hours, 30 minutes to print. So uh, I have them like four or six of them made, but um, if the demand will be high enough, uh, I think that I will have to charge more, or just uh, just you will have to wait for your part. So. Thanks again and tell me what you think and uh, and see ya later.